What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Mythic Heroes, and today we're probably going to be talking about one of the most confusing topics and additions to the game since 1.7, and that is going to be the museum changes and the antiques that have been added to the game. So first off, let's read something real quick from the patch notes. We will jump into the museum so you guys can kind of see what's going on here, but uh, yeah, let's get going. After centuries of refinement and storing energy, these relics have become magical instruments within the world of Mythic heroes emanating powerful auras to support you and your friends antiques will unlock once you complete chapter 10-4 in the main campaign so you don't have to do like elite or any of that stuff if you don't enjoy it they can be found in the museum and can be summoned with the new tomb exploration system that you see right here they provide you with scaling benefits as you progress through the ascension realm these bonuses include roster wide benefits faction specific class specific buffs and even more enhancement materials can be acquired through all the ascension realm including campaign marketplace and new weekly events that will be introduced as we go on by collecting awakening and refining antiques you can greatly enhance your heroes making antiques a coveted treasure for all summoners so yes these give out flat bonuses for your account some of them are very specific to who they give bonuses for some are like you are only some are fighter only some are luminarch only things like that so number one is you will be getting these treasure chests these antiques as you go through the game some of them can be uh, actually purchased in the marketplace daily and each one have a different tier essentially of these artifacts so i don't have any of these uh mythic ones the mythic ones are going to be probably some of the most coveted ones and the most powerful but you can get the, uh, I guess you could say legendary ones. Is this called legendary? Yeah, legendary antique. The legendary ones are probably the main ones you want to save your resources for to upgrade. So number one, in order to get your antiques going, you have an entire antique museum here. This goes over all the ones that you don't own. And then it also shows you ones that you have owned. Now, some of these here, in order to oh, like actually unlock them from zero star to one star, you need these appraisal scrolls 40 of them to appraise it that basically unlocks their potential to maximize them you can level these all the way up to the max stars that they have they are going to require duplicates and other resources as you get them higher up and then after that they can also be awakened i believe there's actually um where is it i thought there was a spot that had the awakening yes right here so you can see how the star and grading like on this one can go up to four and then you can awaken it as well with having a total restoration bonus that that's basically you're going to spend resources to increase them you can see here how you know you get the appraisal scrolls and sometimes you need duplicates and then also fragments to enhance certain ones of these so the main thing you want to do in my opinion is just make sure you unlock these upgrade them because they're just going to give you better benefit overall by doing it you can see right here you need these excess common fragments after a certain level uh, but get all these appraised because these bonuses will instantly hit your account just by appraising them unlocking them and getting them active on your account you can also have ones that you have not owned yet and this activates it so these right here are just the shards that you get from doing the summonings uh, and that basically unlocks what you have and then of course you can come down here to the ones you do own appraise them get their star levels up increase their benefits and their stats now how do you get these you get them through the explore system right here in the tomb exploration you can get either the two maps or the exploration coins uh you also have a nice little bar down here that gives you some guaranteed resources uh that looks pretty good especially since uh are we close to it no nowhere near close to it let's do we got 20 more summons we can do right here you see the animation you can see when you get like a, a purple one which uh what are they are they rare yeah they're rare ones for purple you're guaranteed that every few and then of course you can see you get some fragments of other ones you get basic restoration elixirs which are very important that's one of the last things we're going to talk about here um new items which are cool and then of course fragments of other ones so not too bad we do get that 100 there you get some chests you get some ascension hammers to use in the other game mode uh the this event weekly and then we can do one more summon here see if we can get a yellow 
no it's nothing great here uh, but you can get the appraisal scrolls you can get museum silver coins to use in the shop tons of stuff like that so that's the summoning i'll show you here now as we come on over we have some enhancements to do for already owned items here let's summon these guys out we have the extra copies of these lower tier ones that we can get upgraded let's keep going looking good oh actually that one we could upgrade a second time the fan and once you get these leveled to max is when I think you get those regular common shards. I have yet to see it just yet because I didn't get to test it on the test server. But um, yeah, there's certain ones you kind of want to go for. A couple of these are like really good. Like a couple of these are just really, really good. Like if you have fighter heroes, you can increase attack. But then you can come over to your antique museum to see what you actually have unlocked. And you'll notice there's a couple things here. You'll see some white numbers, some some green ones. Essentially, what this means is, uh, you, when you see something that has green, it means you can enhance them, as you see here, with your basic restoration elixirs. Now, I wouldn't use these elixirs. I'll say willy nilly. I'll not just throw them around. You kind of want to focus on specific ones so like here this one is an antique that explore when or antiques are explored for times 10 attack gives additional resources you get attack here uh these are things that i want to like benefit from and i will talk about a couple things on this screen here when it does awaken so again awakening is after you get the fifth star you can then awaken the item you'll get an additional attack on this one and then there are set effects which are pretty interesting when you collect the set, you get more attack. When you grade the set, AKA you get them higher tiers, you're gonna get accuracy. And then when you have the full set awakened, you are gonna do additional crit damage for this one. So it's pretty cool. You can kind of see here how you can click on any one of them and it'll show you kind of what's going on here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, some of these are really interesting, like this one here. The I'm not even gonna try to say the name because it's really confusing. When your you are hero is owned one times, attack is increased by 209.4, achieve potential six of fifteen. So that means uh the more you are heroes we have, the higher up this will go as they come out. Overall attack is right there. If we awaken it, it gives you physical cleave, which is absolutely huge. And then it has a gigantic set effect with a ton of other weapons here. You can see, but again, you have to unlock them. So what I would try to do is I would try to focus on specific sets that you can actually get some progress on and give you stats that are going to help you out. Like certain ones when a royal treasure is open times one defense increases, uh, it's to each your own. I kind of like the attack ones since a lot of times the thing I'm lacking on my account is damage. Uh, but this is where you can then go in here and you can use these uh, restoration elixirs you can either restore one time or you can just hit max restore and that's going to pump in as much as possible as soon as you don't have enough to upgrade this number will turn white that doesn't mean you're done and that's the max it just means you don't have the resources to continue upgrading them so some of these might be better down the bottom here the the rares and maybe even commons if you have like a good set bonus you can go through i haven't gone through all of them to see which ones might be the best hopefully Either we'll put out a guide or somebody else will put out a really cool guide out there. But uh, yeah, definitely go for your sets. Definitely upgrade them when you have the chance. Hopefully you guys enjoy this when The antiques are a little confusing, but hopefully this helped break it down just a little bit for you guys. And I'll see you guys next time.